Hey there, I'm Jason Gay with Kappa. I've been working in tech theater for over 25 years. I wanna to talk to you about some of the tools that I like to see people have in their tool bag and their toolkit when they show up for work. The first side of this is some safety equipment. Some of it you may need to supply yourself. Some of it you might find in the venue. Uh, Earplugs are very important. There can be a lot of loud tools being used around you, so it's always good to have a pair of earplugs handy even if you're not wearing them. Same thing with your safety glasses. Safety glasses are handy to have around just in case you get in a situation where you, you need to protect yourself. I recommend that everyone have a good pair of gloves, something that they can touch hot, hot lighting with, move heavy things. Um, it's always good to have these in your back pocket. And lastly, because you never know who's going to be working over your head, definitely bring a hard hat. Uh, there could be people focusing lights or doing rigging above your head, so have this handy in case you need it. So some real basic tools that you should really have with you, even when you're just starting out. Uh, the number one tool is the crescent wrench. This is the tool that you're going to have in your back pocket the entire time you're at work. There are some variations on the crescent wrench. This one has a longer handle and a drift pin built into the handle. This helps you line up two holes that you might need to throw a bolt into. This wrench has a leash. Leashes are very important if you're working up high. You can put that leash around your wrist and if you drop the wrench, it doesn't go very far. It's very important to have a good quality flashlight. Theaters are notoriously dark and this will help you with that. A variety of screwdrivers is important, at least slotted in Phillips, or you can get one screwdriver that has interchangeable bits. So you have a variety of tools right in your pocket. A good Sharpie is always nice to have as a stage technician. Sharpies become your go-to writing instrument. Some type of utility knife. It could be a pocket knife or like this one, a box knife. Um, something to cut things up with. And then it's always good to have a pair of side cut pliers and a pair of needle nose pliers. These will just come in handy when you're trying to uh, take care of projects that you didn't expect. I like for every technician to have a hammer available in their toolbox. Now there are a variety of hammers as well, but I find that just a basic claw hammer and then sometimes a dead blow hammer is handy to have around. When you just need to nudge something together, the dead blow is great. And then it is nice to have a number of these wonder bars around for taking apart scenery, mostly when you're, on your, when you're about to work your load out. One last basic item that I like every technician to have is a tape measure. And for those of you that are a little more advanced, if you bring your 100 foot tape measure, that'll help when the tech director asks you to lay out the floor. So some more advanced tools for your toolbox. Uh, if you have them available, bring a battery drill with a spare battery and some extra bits. Always helpful on load ins. If the drill is just a little bit too much, you can also just bring a basic electric screwdriver, battery powered screwdriver. And a staple gun is always handy to have around. Uh, so as many staple guns as we have on set, that's always better. One more item that's always very handy to have around is a basic two-foot level. This will help with leveling risers and setting up scenery. And lastly is a multimeter. I'm getting real advanced right now, but when you're troubleshooting electric, whether it's a wall receptacle or part of the dimming system, a multimeter is very handy to have in your toolbox. Bonus tool, dead blow sledgehammer, <laughs> always handy when you need to nudge something an inch or two. So there you have basic and advanced tools. If these are available in your toolkit, you will be prepared for the job that day. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.